Hello and welcome to today's morning report on Thursday the 4th of February with me, which pro market analyst at Handset Markets. The uh, trading session for the European stocks has got off to a pretty positive start. Um, that's sort of gone on from the, uh, the follow through from Wall Street last night. Huge, huge moves on markets yesterday, driven by the um, sort of changing expectations of uh, US rate hike. Um, the market's considerably dialing back um, on those uh, expectations after pretty dovish comments from um, William Dudley, the um, New York Fed president, and also uh, a very much weaker than expected um, ISM non-manufacturing data. Now, that had um, impact across markets, but the main driver was obviously dollar weakness. The dollar was weaker against all of the FX majors. The dollar was um, the dollar weakness also fed through into the commodity markets with a huge move higher in the oil price, sharp rebound in the oil price, and uh, also equities as well strongly higher yesterday. Now, the uh, the fact is that um, I don't believe this um, this rally is built on any real solid ground. Um, this rally is sort of based on um, a US. Uh, weak recovery or certainly dollar um, weakness and um, the uh, sort of expectation that the US economic recovery is um, not going to be supportive of the uh, Fed rate hikes. So that isn't a positive, I see that as a negative um, generally speaking and uh, I think that that's the these recoveries that we're going to see um, are going to be short lived on the back of this. I don't see this as being sustainable move. You saw for example yesterday let me show you the oil inventories. Oil inventories, again, were incredibly high in the US. Um, that's uh, certainly not supportive of um, stronger oil price in the uh, in the long term, I don't think. And um, subsequently, I think we're going to see this move just um, subsequently peter out again and uh, the, the um, sort of selling pressure build once more. So um, we've also seen um, the uh, Treasury markets also strongly higher um, on treasuries and uh, on the 10-year and the two-year, pulling yields strongly lower. That 10-year that, uh, treasury yield yesterday spiking to the uh, lowest since February last year, so a 12-month low on that yield. That does not suggest to me that the market is factoring in a Fed being able to hike um, four times this year, maybe even not three, two or even one. Um, it'll be interesting to see how that uh, reacts now. So, um, yeah, these uh, these uh, sort of rallies that we've got in equity markets, I'm not buying it really. I don't think it's um, all that solid. So what have we got to look forward to today? Well, we've got the Bank of England um, monetary policy at 12 o'clock. Now, the expectation is for no change on monetary policy and also the continuation of the voting makeup, which was eight versus one, that one being... Um, Ian McCafferty uh, being the one dissenting voice, voting for a rate hike. But um, even then, uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens in the quarterly inflation report as well, because the quarterly inflation report is likely to contain um, cuts to growth figures, cuts to in inflation expectations, and that would be deemed to be um, a little bit of a dovish move for uh, for, K, uh, for Sterling at least, and the UK uh, rate hike. So uh, after that, we've got the uh, weekly jobless claims. Expect to, oh no sorry, weekly jobless claims expected to be two hundred eighty thousand so basically in line with last week, and then the um, new sorry the uh, factory orders at three o'clock now this is interesting this is meant to be minus two point eight, but that is better than the um, the reading that we had last December so which drops out so actually the the year on year data uh, continues to sort of recover a little bit although it's still negative, uh, mind you. Um, so uh, it'd be interesting to see how that one comes out, but uh, certainly factory orders is uh, not necessarily supportive of uh, a dollar um, recovery and a US economic recovery either. So that takes me on to my chance of the day, which is the uh, the Swiss franc. Now the Swiss franc is interesting because um, it's been in this long-term uptrend. In fact, I could say that it's been in a big long-term uptrend ever since uh, sort of bottoming out. It's been there, isn't it? That's a pretty good uptrend. But it's these uptrends are getting sharper uh, as time goes on. And currently what we are seeing, let me just get rid of that for the sake of being able to see this uptrend. What we are seeing now is yesterday we saw pulled back to the uptrend, but I think that uptrend is now under pressure because we've got these momentum indicators which are rolling over MACD lines across 
Stochastics have given a confirmed crossover and uh, RSI has just fallen away. So I think that that is a really significant move. It's back below the um, 101.15 uh, support, uh, which is a pivot line. So that pivot line now becomes resistance. I think it's going to put pressure back on the downside. You've, you've got a, a pivot again around parity. Uh, parity is another pivot line and it sort of broke below that yesterday mine uh, on the intraday spike um, but to uh, 99.80 again a bit of a pivot level there a bit of support but more um, moreover I think that this is just uh, this move that we've seen overnight is just unwinding the oversold momentum um, and I think uh, anything around sort of 40 50 on the RSI I think is a chance to sell and even then uh, in the last few minutes we've actually seen the the, the Swissy start to fall away again and I think this uh, little rally that we've had overnight is a chance to sell because I think we're going to put further pressure on that uptrend and um, I'm not necessarily calling it as a break I'm not saying that yet but I think you're going to put further pressure on that uptrend and then at that stage you're sort of looking at these these sort of supports around 99.80 and then 99.50 area uh, to come under pressure and I think that that's what we're going to be seeing on the uh, dollar Swissy as that sort of expectation of um, of stronger rate uh, of stronger dollar and stronger uh, and uh, rate hikes in the US continues to be unwound. So I wish you good luck in your trading today on the dollar Swissy and I'll speak to you later. Thank you.